Hello friends! In today's video, we're going to talk about how to effectively auto your games. Now, Fancy Watertic is the game I play the most, um, but this technique can be used for any other games that require a lot of autoing, a lot of um, being away from your phone while the games still continue to run i know that a lot of games especially with mobile games they have this auto function let me just show you um, for example if i go into this stage you see right there it says auto retry at the bottom and once i click onto that the game runs automatically for the next few stages and this is a great thing because mobile phones are meant to be games that you become how should i put this that there's a reason why mobile gaming have so much auto functions is to make you more obsessed with the game while not taking too much of your conscious time and effort and this is why in many mobile games you get the auto function compared to uh, PC games which may not have as much auto functions or rely as much on that now the problem with autoing is on two folds number one it takes up even though it's non-conscious effort, you probably need time to go back and click on it and auto a next stage. For example, if I if I try to auto on the chaos stage, it finishes eventually after three tries and I need to go click on the hell stage and I need to click auto again. It doesn't automatically go to every single stage. I can't set it in um, series. And number two, the problem is with with, um, sometimes the battery life of course if you auto it um, some some sometimes you auto it 10 minutes but when you go back and check on your phone 20 minutes have passed and which means your phone has been on the game for 10 more minutes than you have intended so that can be an issue too now this video is here to address that and hopefully this is a technique that would be useful to some of you or maybe even most of you okay so for example I'm going to go into a stage here. This is okay. This might be too long. Um, let me go to a stage that's quick. Okay, so um, for example, I'm going to auto the KO stage right here. It takes three daily counts. All right, so I'm going to click on auto. Oh, sorry, I need a certain character to do this. Oh, let's go in the normal mode. Okay, I'm gonna click on also. I'm going, I can do it five times, but just for the sake of this. I'm going to probably do it just once, okay? Now watch what happens. I'm gonna go in auto, it's gonna start loading. I'm going to go out of my phone for now and I'm going to click on the clock. Now this mode only works for iPhone unfortunately, but you see where this is going. Okay, I can set the timer to say stop playing and this is a function that is in your phone you don't need to do anything you click into your clock you click into timer which is right at the bottom you click on the timer and then you chose you choose um, when timer ends stop playing okay so for example now I'm gonna do it for let's say one minute okay now I'm gonna go back to my game right here this game is going to run for an entire minute, 59 seconds, okay? And immediately after 59 seconds, the game is going to close off by itself because the timer is set to stop playing in 59 seconds. Of course, I should probably set it a bit longer so that um, it, it, I think this stage takes about uh, two minutes, okay? So... I'm not sure, we'll, we'll see, but in, in 59 seconds time, it's gonna close whether this game, whether this stage is over or not. I think I might just get it just right at 59 seconds. Okay, we'll see, very close, very close, Celeste going in. Okay, one more hit, I think I'm close. Alright, one more, one more hit, I'm done. Uh, and down, yep, so the stage is over. If, if I'm autoing this stage, and this stage takes about, look, exactly exactly one minute it closes you see right now it's back into home screen and it turns off by itself okay so this is how i would auto my stages every now and then i would go oh let me on the music again so that it works um 
Yeah, so this is how it works, okay? And um, it helps a lot, especially for stages that takes a long time and you're not sure and you don't want to keep your phone for too long, okay? And it closes automatically. Um, in this game, in Fantasy War Tactics, there is a stage here that takes up 20 minutes even when I auto it, okay? And I, you know, I, I don't want to be constantly going back after 10 minutes after 5 minutes to check I don't want to go back too long to um, after too long and then waste the energy as well and this is this is the time when it makes sense for me to auto the stage um, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do here and then I'm gonna have a break and boom oh, I'm sh I think it should be this nope 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 I think it should be this sorry okay so I'm going to go into auto right now, this is what I do and I'm gonna go back once again to show you in the timer, this is gonna take about 20 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna set it as 20 minutes, I'm gonna go back to the game and remember when you go back to the game, you need to make sure that it's running, okay? I need to click on auto and now it's gonna run for 20 minutes and in 20 minutes time it's gonna close all by itself and I know I'm good for the day alright so I hope this helps some of you and um, if you enjoyed this video and you want to find out more about simple tips that your phone can do to help your game um, feel free to leave a comment subscribe um, tell me what you need and I'll be happy to do more and um, fantasy what I think is a great game so if you're not playing it you should okay have fun thank you everyone thank you for watching this.